So what we have in front of me is a Dovato tiny router that has been, let's say, bricked, or it's been entirely corrupted by a failed software upgrade. Now, how can this happen? Well, usually what may happen is that uh, during the upgrade process, uh, some of you will want to remove the USB modem straight out of the USB port, and that's a no-no, so don't do that. Uh, another thing that can happen is that the power might go out or you might trip on the power cable and the upgrade process becomes corrupted. So now I've turned on the router and as you can see it's showing what it shouldn't be showing and that's the that the power or the internet uh, SMS lamp is on. Uh, normally it isn't in this stage. So it's a good indicator that there's something wrong with the box. And I have on the back, I have an Ethernet cable plugged in on the Ethernet LAN port. As you can see there, LAN. And it's plugged in by, it's plugged into the, the computer's uh, Ethernet port as well. So I will open up a command prompt where I can do a ping. Uh, do a ping like that, 192.168.0.1. And I push OK. Um, Notice the dash T at the end there, so that was that was to to um, show that it's continuous ping. So I'm not getting any re replies from the router, therefore I have to apply a rescue of the router. So let's put that aside for now, like that, and we bring up the rescue program. Which I'll open. Move here. So, there we have it. It's the Devado firmware utility. I'm using the latest one uh, for April 2012, and that's the version 6.0.0. And uh, normally this program is used for upgrading. You can see there, it's got the up upgrade tab, and it says, no Devado router detected. Please enter router's IP manually. Well, it's not going to happen here, so we have to go to rescue. And here it will say the same thing, rescue IP address is incorrect. Uh, so what we need to do is connect the computer to a free LAN port on the router using an Ethernet cable, and we've done that. Then it says you set your computer's IP address to 192.168.1.128. And that's what we haven't done, so we'll do that now. The way to do that is you go to the bottom here next to the clock. Um, there's an Ethernet adapter icon. Click it once and you go to Open Network and Sharing Center. It opens up this page here, like that. And you click on Connections, see the LAN. Click on it once. It opens up the LAN Ethernet interface. And there you click on Properties. And then Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IP version 4. Double click. Use the following IP address. And you type in 192, oops, 168, 1, space, 128. And then you just click in this field here, Subnet Mask. It gets automatically filled in. Push OK. Push OK. Push Close can minimize this one. And now we're back to this and it says here rescue IP address is correct. And then it says unplug the router's power cable and then hold down the reset button on the router while you reinsert the power cable. Hold the button for five seconds. Okay, so let's do that. So I'm gonna power off the router now. And normally I'll unplug the cable. I have my foot on the switch here instead. So I'll turn it off and I'll hold down the reset button at the front here, like that, and turn on the router. Now keep holding that button down for three, four, five. So I let go. All right? Now back in the program, uh, step five says press the rescue button below to start the upload of a recovery firmware. So let's do that here. Rescuing, please stand by. You can now restore IP, your IP settings while the router is completing the rescue. It takes about two minutes. 
Then check if the rescue was successful by using your web browser to connect to the router. So let's go back to the network settings, click on LAN, properties, double click TCP IP version 4, go back to obtain an IP address automatically, obtain DNS server address automatically, push OK, push OK, and close. So, we'll keep following this ping here. And you see the network interface just dropped. If you look at the icon there. And the router is rebooting itself with the new firmware. And you can see that um, there's now some activity going on on the LAN port, it's identifying, let's close the rescue, and any second now, There we go. So now it's replying. So let's open up a browser. And there we go. Push login. So you know your username is admin and password is password. Click on login. And there we go. Version 6.0.0. That's what we were loading on with the rescue. Alright. Thank you. Bye bye.